Does conscious intention create reality? This question comes with number of other questions. Does this mean we as individuals can shape and create whatever reality we would like for ourselves? Does it mean we can manifest a certain lifestyle and attract certain experiences? Does it happen instantly? Does it take time? How do we do it? The realistic view of science all that exists was matter and energy and arrangement of it a physical reality exists independent of observation this realistic world view was shaken with advent of quantum mechanics matter was thought to be tiny particles that exist independent of our observation however the equation of quantum mechanics and result of double slit experiment changed that to understand this experiment simple explanation is given sub atomic particles were thought to exist like tiny matters not like continuous waves of energy however sending a photon through double slit they acted like waves of energy instead of tiny bit of particles however putting measuring device at one slit the result changed the photon acted as one would expect a tiny bit and not spread away when they observed the electron went back to behaving like a little marble it produced a pattern of two bands not an interference pattern of many the very act of measuring or observing which slit it went through meant it only went through one not both the electron decided to act differently as though it was aware it was being watched potential revelation of this experience about the reality that the moment there is consciousness involved and defining how things should act the infinite potential act in that manner the photon acted in the manner consciousness defined it should act we see two slits we have particle and we define that they must pass through one of the slit and create a two band pattern on the other side however before it is defined the particle carries out every possibility it is limitless consciousness the observer who is controller in entire reality how we define our world and what plays out is entirely up to us the world is infinite possibility our consciousness can shape and create reality in any way we choose the observer consciousness creates the reality physicist admitted consciousness and our physical material world are intertwined and the universe is immaterial mental and spiritual let's take another experiment a national demonstration project conducted in washington dc on june 7 1993 with a group of 4000 yogis experienced meditators assembled for several weeks with conscious intention of world peace and welfare meditation technique the carefully controlled experiment tested the efficacy of coherence creating group called maharishi effect according to the maharishi when people meditate together with unified good intentions their alpha brain waves become synchronized or exhibit coherence the coherence of brain waves causes others to receive the same properties in their subconscious mind the brain wave pattern of an individual can be measured with an electroencephalogram EEG machine the waves permit the atmosphere to reach those in the same geographical region influencing their hearts thoughts and actions that lead to materialized peaceful world this experiment surprisingly produced following outcomes violent crime began decreasing and continued to drop until the end of the experiment it decreased 23.6% the statistical probability that this result could reflect chance variation in crime levels was less than 2 in 1 billion 
with several other improvements like reduction in pollution level, improved quality of life, decreased fatalities. In another experiment, each evening for seven days in a row, volunteers recorded their mood using Profile of Mood State POMS questionnaire. On day 3, 4 and 5 of the test, each participant drank 600 ml of Olong tree in the morning and again at afternoon. One randomly assigned group blindly received tea that had been intentionally treated by three Buddhist monks. The other group blindly received untreated tea from the same source. On the last day of the test, each person indicated what type of tea he or she believed they had been drinking. When 89 adults participated in the study, and the study was conducted over a week in order to reduce mood fluctuations. Those who drank treated tea showed a great increase in mood than those who drank untreated tea. Change in mood in those who believed that they were drinking treated tea was much better than those who did not. The authors also noted that the belief that one was drinking treated tea directly correlated with a large improvement in mood, but only if one was actually drinking the treated tea. This indicated that belief and intentional enhancement interact. Your intent and emotions behind the consumption of food and water can have a direct impact on your physical body. How the mind has a capacity to influence the output of devices known as random event generators. The multitude of declassified papers that deal with parapsychological phenomena. For example, government experiments revealed human beings are capable of bending physical material objects with their minds. I also think it's important to throw in the remote viewing experiments conducted by the NSA CIA example is the placebo effect, the documented fact that we can transform our biology with belief. A great example of quantum physics meeting ancient wisdom is seen in the fact that Nikola Tesla was influenced by Vedic philosophy when pondering his ideas of zero-point energy. Ancient Ved represent this concept in two words, Aham Brahmasmi, you create your own reality. In order to create and manifest, a new reality for ourselves, our thought patterns and the way we perceive reality must change. What changes the way we perceive reality? Information does. When new information emerges, it changes the way we look at things and as a result, our reality changes and we begin to manifest a new experience and open our minds to a broader view of reality. What's also important about teachings from new physics is that if factors of consciousness are associated with the creation of our reality, that means change starts within. It starts with the way in which we are observing the outer world from our inner world. This touches on the earlier point of how we perceive our reality. Our perception of the external world might very well be a reflection of our inner world, our inner state of being. So ask yourself, are you happy? Are you observing, perceiving and acting from a place of love, from a place of hate or anger? All of these factors are associated with our consciousness. We are indeed the observers. We can create change and break patterns to open up to new possibilities change our direction, also the way in which we observe ourselves, others and the world around us. So if you want to help change the world, change the way you look at things and the things you look at will change. Be the change you want to see in the world. If you like the video, please hit the like button. I am heavily dependent on your suggestions for further videos, so please do post it in comments. And please subscribe the channel Nirvana.
it helps a lot thank you